There's been so many lads that have played in the last four years to get us here, like guys that are now playing professionally, 15s. Um, so there's been loads of guys that have worked towards this and we're the lucky ones that get to be in here. Now we have a facility that we can call our own. We've got our own dressing rooms, we've got our names on there. There's photos of us running around inside the dressing room as well that you kind of feel like this is our space that we feel at home. Go! Yeah, it's pretty busy and the four days we work hard and we get our Wednesdays off. Um, so we have like all the facilities we need. We have our gym here, we've got an indoor pitch if the weather isn't good enough um, to go outside. We've got two beautiful pitches outside as well. Uh, full kitchen, so there's coffee machines and fridges full of everything you could ask for. We're in a room here that's a, a rest and relaxation room and again more snacks and a TV to just chill out, have a chat. Um, Full, full board physio room and then we also have like uh, meeting rooms with uh, computers in them where you can take a look at training, matches, other teams, like um, the competitions that we'd be going to and all that kind of stuff. So really it's a it's a one on all facility and you can take care of yeah. everything in those four days. Yeah, um, yeah it's brilliant. Yeah, so first thing on a, when we come in during the day is a monitoring session where we just do simple tests, let's say like weight and a groin squeeze and a sit and reach and then what's after our ankles isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then just to see how our bodies are and the SNC and the physio have a look at that and if our scores are down then they'll have a chat with you to see who you are and then decide if you're going to train or if you need mo a modified training or something like that so it's just a good way to start today just to make sure your body's all right and then we have what's called bulletproof which Orla Armstrong our physio has brought in which is kind of just what it says in the tin, bulletproof, get us, get us ready for the day and make sure we don't pick up any niggles and really set us up for the session. So it could be anything from like um, activating our hip flexors to even activating our rotator cuffs and our shoulders just to get you ready for the pit session. Then obviously the pit session, and to, with all the main work is done, um, which you're going to see later. And then we'll recover it in a hydro room, which is top of the range. Like it's a cold bath and a hot bath and you just contrast for recovery after the session. Then we'll have a bit of grub in the cafeteria together and then we have a team meeting um, where we're going to discuss, I'd say, L shakes. We just came off the back of a tournament, discuss what went on there. And then we will do craft, which is kind of basically just skills. Um, so like identified skills. So like this man here would be the line out jumper. Um, and then we've got line outs or scrums, you know, specific stuff. And then we'll do a gym <coughs> session to finish off the day. So it's a busy one, but um, all very necessary and well planned out. So looking forward to the day. We are going into the rejuvenation room, so hot and cold pools. Let's see how this goes. How long have we been here for then, Greg? I don't know, I've been in here for about two minutes, is it? Okay, so then what, hot pool? Maybe one more minute. Back to the gold pool. What temperature do you say it is? Two degrees. Three. You pin some needles when you go from cold to hot. It's nice though, right Mollex? The cold tightens up all the capillaries and all the veins and then you get the hot, the release, and then you go cold again and release. So it's like flushing the lactic acid out of you. Yeah. Science. I well, genuinely think because we've had this now this season, we're going to be correlation between less injuries and uh, availability of lane. Less injuries and more cracks. Yeah, more <laughs> Two minutes in the ice bath, the body singling, no better way to finish than a little duck. So, just finished in the hydrotherapy room, cold, hot, cold. You finish in another half. Yeah. Um, so, good pit session done, and now we get a bit of grub. Same with Alex. Yeah, and Charlie College as well. College used to see them. Oh, you will. Same here?
it was a tough session. They worked us hard, um, but like we need to be at that level because we have Dubai coming up and Cape Town coming up. And what do you think? The session went well, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah good Tuesday. We had a really hard day yesterday, so um, mm. nice to get back on the pitch and get the legs going again and just go through everything. And we did a few kickoffs and just set piece and stuff. So yeah. Yes, yeah, meeting now to go through Elche and uh, Dubai and Cape Town that are coming up, and then we have a bit of craft to go through skills, and then Jim, and that's us. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough day, um, but as I said before, we have to operate at that kind of level and tick all their boxes. We're just on new on the World Series and we have to be able to operate at that kind of level of volume. Um, but it was a great day, really enjoyed it. Got to touch every base, pitch, gym, skills, the whole lot. So I uh, really enjoyed it, yeah. If you're making mistakes, then that's what you build on then during the week. So say if you missed a tackle or your passing wasn't up to scratch, then that's something that you look at right when I come in tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I make my tackles or make sure that I make my passes so that would be kind of something that you would look at and then yeah just try and have fun with it every time you come out here you're, you're trying to enjoy what you're doing and it's never going to be a slog when you do that then. Yeah. You can definitely feel that there's a World Series coming up. The team hasn't been selected yet as well so there's a bit of tension at training which is good though um, so fingers crossed we're both in the plane and uh, we can represent the country proudly. Just have to go home. Sleep is the most important thing for me. Um, I got about 10 hours of sleep last night. I was so tired and uh, just get the food in right. Um, good source of protein or whatever and then carbs as well are really really important for us uh, if we don't get enough carbs you can really feel it in the legs so go home have a big dinner and just relax for the evening yeah it should be good it's simple enough getting recovery hydration food and sleep just got to take all those boxes and uh, as Harry said earlier just keep enjoying it sweet thanks lads yeah, thanks very very much. Much. Cheers. Cheers.